Welcome to Abiding Presence Ministry for Divine Worship on the Octave of Easter. Our celebrant will be Bishop William Cavins. The intention for today's celebration is Anna Marie Witkowski. Witkowski. Our entrance hymn is number 438, Join in the Dance. Dance of the earth's jubilation, this is the feast of the Lord of God. Shout from the heights to the ends of creation, Jesus the Savior is risen from the grave. People sleep no longer. the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And also with you. My brothers and sisters, as we gather today on this low Sunday, the octave of Easter, we are still a people that rejoices in the fact that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Yet we're also a people that have doubts. We are people that doubt that he rose and died and rose for us. There are people that doubt that the church has existed for 2,000 years. There are people that doubt that the Holocaust occurred. There are people that doubt that the events in Washington, D.C. on January 6th were an insurrection. For all of our doubts, and in particular today, as these candles are lit in commemoration, in commemoration of the six million Jews who died during the Holocaust, let us ask God to grant us hearts and minds that always seek truth. Oh. 
of God on high to our six million brothers and sisters murdered because they were Jews, grant clear and certain rest with you in the lofty heights of the sacred and pure, whose brightness shines like the very glow of heaven, source of mercy, forever enfold them in the embrace of your, of your wings, secure their souls in eternity, Adonai, they are yours, they will rest in peace, amen. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
In excelsis Deo, et in terra pal, sublimibus, holy voluntatis. Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pal, sublimibus, holy voluntatis. The Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God our Father. In excelsis Deo, et in terra pa, sonimibus volebo untartis. Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pa, sonimibus volebo untartis. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God of mercy, you wash away our sins in water. You give us new birth in the Spirit and redeem us in the blood of Christ. As we celebrate Christ's resurrection, increase our awareness of these blessings and renew your gift of life within us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us be attentive. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was one of heart and mind and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but he had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded to them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
Reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. For whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ. Not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. According to John, glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, <clears throat> where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. <clears throat> Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, 
was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, unless I see the mark of the nails in his hand and put my finger into his nail marks and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside and Thomas was with them. And Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe our sins away. You may be familiar with the phrase that Missouri is the show me state. You know, prove it. And we are aware, as I said in my opening comments, that there are many people today that do not believe the evidence of their own eyes. There is plenty of evidence that the Holocaust did occur, yet there are those that deny it. There is plenty of evidence that <clears throat> humans have walked on the moon, <clears throat> but still there are those that don't believe it. There are still those that don't believe we're in a very serious pandemic or that January 6th was just a love fest between some people and the police, Capitol Police Force. We have become a very skeptical people. And even though we may see and experience something with our own eyes, our own senses, we fail to believe. And certainly Thomas, an apostle who had heard all of the teachings that Christ gave his apostles during his ministry here on earth was a doubter. He had to be convinced by evidence of his own eyes, his own experience of placing his fingers inside the wounds of Christ. You and I are referred to today in this gospel because we do not have the opportunity to see Christ in the flesh. We can't walk up to him and put our hands into his nail marks or into his wounded side. Yet the Holy Spirit acting in us brings us to belief based on the testimony of those that were there, based on the testimony that this faith has endured for over 2,000 years. You heard in our first reading that the community was of one mind and heart. That one mind and heart is grounded in Jesus Christ. And as the Acts told us, what we're asked to believe and do with our lives is very simple. Because we've been given a new command, a command that embraces 
all of the Ten Commandments into one. Love the, God, <clears throat> love the Lord our God with our whole minds, our whole heart, our whole being, and our neighbor as ourself. We who only wish to do good for ourselves should only wish to do good with our neighbors. And so grounded in that faith, in that belief, we have in our faith the knowledge and the belief that Jesus is indeed the risen one who gave his life for you and for me, who was raised from the dead, ascended into heaven. And we too have that same promise of joining him eventually when our time on this earth is at an end. Have no doubts, but believe. Let us stand and profess our faith by reciting the Nicene Creed. Those of you with hymnals will find it in the front of your hymnal. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. And by the power of the Holy Spirit he was born of the Virgin Mary and became a man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he has worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. <clears throat> Our rejoicing continues because our Savior is risen. Jesus comes among us as one bringing peace. Let us offer our intercessions for the needs of all humanity. Our response is, Christ is risen indeed. Christ, Christ is, is risen indeed. indeed. For the church, that we, that we who are the church will be an instrument of peace and an agent of reconciliation to all people. Christ is risen. Christ, Christ is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. The leaders of nations, that global leaders will strive to establish peace among all peoples and all nations. Christ is risen. Christ, Christ is, is risen indeed. indeed. For the duly baptized, they be supported, affirmed, and encouraged by the parish or faith community, and the faith nourished, and the promise of baptism brought to life in them. Christ is risen. Christ, Christ is, is risen indeed. For land and property owners, they were generous with their possessions, sharing what they have and providing for the poor. Christ is risen. Christ, Christ is risen indeed. For the sick and those in danger of death that had be comforted by God's abiding presence. Christ is risen. Christ, Christ is, is risen, risen indeed. For all who grieve, that their morning will return to dancing as they hear, hold, and welcome the mes message of the resurrection in their hearts. Christ is risen. Christ, Christ is, is risen indeed. For people without adequate housing, that we who are Christians will work to ensure everybody is accommodated in affordable homes that are warm and dry. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. For all infected and affected by COVID-19, that God will grant them a sense of peace and bring the pandemic under control. Christ is risen. Christ, Christ is risen indeed. For our own needs, for those who stand in need of prayer and have no one to pray for them, 
those who have asked for our prayers, especially those who remember now. Christ is risen. Christ, Christ is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. God of life, refine our faith that we who have not seen may yet believe. With this hope, we make this prayer in the name of Jesus, the risen one. Amen. <coughs> Our offertory hymn is number 420, O Sons and Daughters. that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the almighty creator. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise Praise and glory of God's name for our good and good of all church. Lord, through faith and baptism, we have become a new creation. Accept these offerings of your people and those born again in baptism and bring us to eternal happiness. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this night above all, to on this date and on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he's destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
Father, we come before you with praise and thanksgiving for Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him we ask you to accept and bless these gifts we offer you in sacrifice. We offer them for your holy Catholic Church. Watch over it, Lord, and guide it. Grant it peace and unity throughout the world. We offer them for the patriarchs of the East and for the West, for me, your unworthy bishop, and for all who hold and teach the Catholic faith that comes to us from the apostles. Remember, Lord, your people, especially those for whom we now pray. We pray for all those living. Remember all of us gathered here before you. You know that we believe in you and we dedicate ourselves to you. We offer you this sacrifice of praise for ourselves and for those who are dear to us. We pray to you, our living and true God, for our well-being and redemption. As we celebrate that most holy day when Jesus Christ our Lord rose bodily from the dead, we pray in communion with the whole church, with those whose memory we honor, especially with Mary, the glorious and ever virgin mother of Jesus Christ our Lord and God, with Joseph her husband, and the apostles and martyr, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, with Venus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Cosmos and Paul, Chrysogonus and Paul, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and with all the saints, by their merits and prayers, grant us your constant help and protection. Lord, accept this offering from your whole family. We offer it to you. We offer it for those to whom you have given new birth through water and the Holy Spirit, with pardon for their, all their sins. Grant us your peace in this life, save us from final damnation, and grant us and count us among those you have chosen. Bless and approve our offering. Make it acceptable to you in offering in spirit and in truth. Let it become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son and our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before he suffered, he took bread and gave into his sacred hands and looking up to you, to heaven to you, his almighty Father. He gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread. He gave it to his disciples and said, Take this all of you and eat it. This is my body which is given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Great is the mystery of faith.
And so, Lord of God, we celebrate the memory of Christ, your Son. We, your holy people and your ministers, call to mind his passion, his resurrection from the dead, and his ascension into glory. And from the many gifts you have given us, we offer you, God of glory and majesty, this holy and perfect sacrifice, the bread of life and the cup of eternal salvation. Look with favor on these offerings and accept them as once you accepted the gifts of your servant Abel, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the bread and wine offered to you by the priest Melchizedek. Almighty God, command your angel to carry this sacrifice to your altar in heaven. Then as we receive from this altar the sacred body and blood of your son, let us be filled with every grace and blessing. Remember, Lord, your servants who have died and have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, especially those for whom we now pray, Anna Marie Witkowski and His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, and all of the dead. Grant them and all who sleep in Christ a, a haven of light and peace. For ourselves too, sinners, we trust in your mercy and love. We ask some share in the fellowship of your apostles and martyrs with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Welcome us into their company and, cons and cons uh, not considering what we deserve, but freely granting us your pardon. Through Christ, with Christ, and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, a glory and honor is yours, almighty creator, forever and ever. his brothers and sisters of the Lord, we dare to pray as Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from all sin and anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, my peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us share with each other some sign of peace. Peace be with you, Jean. Peace be with all of you, viewing at home. takes away the sins of the world, happy to be who are called to his table. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and it shall be healed. May the body and blood of Jesus Christ bring us all to our lasting life.
are at the spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you in my soul. If I can not at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The table is prepared from meat and drink. Our communion hands number 429. Roll away the stone.
sacraments we have received live forever in our minds and hearts. We ask this through our Lord. Amen. Yeah. Thank you for joining us today. Those of you that don't live here in Central Florida, um, certainly you're aware that we are under a severe weather warning, hence the, uh, the post that you should not attend in person today. Not only have we had torrential rains. Now you've heard us have a nice heavy hail storm. So it's one of those days to stay safe and stay at home. Pray for those who uh, are experiencing severe weather across the planet. Today is traditionally known as Low Sunday because we don't have all of the festivities that we have last week. But it doesn't mean that it's not as important because our Sunday celebrations are indeed a remembrance of our Easter celebrations. The bulletin will be posted later on today. Those of you that wish to have your parents living, your mother living or dead, remembered at our altar during the month of May. Um, we gave instructions on the Facebook page, but you can simply send your parent's name, your mother's name, indicate whether she's living or dead. And uh, if you'd like to include a donation, that would be very much appreciated and made out to a fine presence. And their names will be on the altar throughout the month of May. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, God has redeemed us and made us his children. May he bless us with joy. Amen. Amen. The Redeemer has given us lasting freedom. May we inherit his everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And by faith, we each rose with Christ in baptism. May our lives be holy so that we will be united with God forever. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God, Alleluia, Alleluia. Our hymn in honor of Mary is number 432. Be joyful, Mary, Heavenly Queen. Our Son, you bore the heavens, 
praise ye joyful Mary. Did the Lord guilt and sin efface? Alleluia. Rejoice, rejoice, O Mary. The Lord has risen from the dead. He rose with might as he had said, Alleluia, rejoice, rejoice, so merry. Our closing hymn is number 440. This day was made by the Lord. This day was made by the Lord. Let us rejoice, let us be glad. This day was made by the Lord. Let us rejoice in salvation. Thank you for what is eternal. You have given me life, you have given me life. I will proclaim the wonders to do. This day was made by the Lord. Let us be Jews, let us be glad. This day was made by the Lord. Let us rejoice in salvation. Now give me life, give me life. I will proclaim the wonders to do. This day was made by the Lord. Let us rejoice, let us be glad. This day was made by the Lord. Let us rejoice in salvation. I strengthen my Savior. You have given me life, you have given me life. I will proclaim the wonders to do. This day was me the Lord. Let us rejoice, let us be glad. This day was me the Lord. Let us rejoice, let us be glad.